So essentially, I was asked to make it uh, make a little tutorial or a tutorial in general on how to get uh, custom models and custom skins and things like that in, in Conquer. So I just opened KPAL's client, the newest version of it, one point one point seven, I think it is. I'm not entirely sure. Um, hey, is it? No, it's not there. And in that, if you press tab. Uh, they just added or he just added this option down here for enabling custom models uh, and I was telling quite a few people how to do it before to enable you to do things like this having dual snipers which sound like snipers when you fire them but much uh, much faster like much more sped up um, so I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to do it because it, it does get quite complicated um, so First of all, uh, what weapon will be changed? We won't be changing sniper because this all acts on what's known as relationships. In the fact that even though these are getting the sniper models from from the cloud, from a, for, well not from the, well yeah from the cloud, but from like essentially a file structure like this. Who is that? Who killed me? Sounds XD. Okay. Um, even though you're essentially getting it from a file structure like this, uh, it still relies on what's in game. So, for example, you can see that I've got a Kimbo Uzi, uh, which look like snipers. If I change what the sniper rifle looks like, it will then change what the Akimbo Uzi looks like. Okay? So, I've got to do things that don't have any relations at the moment. So, if I go to tab, I think, let's think, <coughs> find two that I haven't changed or are using. LMG, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll use LMG. Okay. For this example, we're going to swap around LMG and rocket launcher, right? So that's really simple to do. So first of all, and I'm going to leave these links down here, um, you're going to want to get the model. So for example, the AR model is weapons6.obj. Now this is a link for a direct download. If I put that in there, it directly downloads, oh, what's that? I'll close it. It will directly download um, the OBJ. Uh, it only works with Kronker OBJs at the moment, so ones from this direct download that come from Kronker. So other direct downloads like the ones that I've made won't work. Um, so anyway, we're going to copy that from there. That's the OBJ file. And we're going to go to LMG. We're going to paste it into there. But we want this to be... Uh, so I'm just going to set it so it doesn't get removed. We want this to be rocket launcher. So because you might not know what, uh, what weapon rocket launcher is and what object it is, if you go into uh, where is it? It'll be in textures, then into weapons. There's a nifty little uh, no, not in here. I thought there's a little. Uh, there should be somewhere. There's a uh, there's something that tells you what what the weapons are. Oh, it's in models, isn't it? I think. I'm not entirely sure though. Oh yeah, it'll read me in here. So this will tell you. So if we're looking for rocket 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 launches, weapon nine. So we go back into here, we're going to change the number at the end here uh, to the number 9. So what this will be doing is going off into the file structure. You can see that um, the file structure essentially takes you to here. So from uh, so for models, it will take you to here. So if you want to go to weapons, you have to put forward slash weapons and then for, uh, forward slash whatever the OBJ you want. But because it works on the same logic, I can change it to something like this. These are all the things that are available in the... Um, in the map editor so I could change it to a door if I wanted or, or a tree or a car um, but we're just gonna stick with weapon uh, weapon 1 or weapon 8 or whatever it was so we go here oh weapon 9 there we go so this is the weapon 9 this has been set uh, so let's go back to AR I'm gonna copy the texture link so this is gonna be a, a texture link for oh, that's pistol oops it's gonna be a texture link and again, we're just going to change the weapon six to weapon nine PNG. So that is now going to be the texture for weapon nine when it's default. Um, and now it's the fun part, or well, it's all fun, but still, if you go into sound, you can change it to anything like that. So let's say, for example, I wanted this gun to sound like it's having an explosion every time I fire it. So I'm going to change it to explosion for MP3 as the sound. So if I go to tab again, I'm going to go into AR. Again, I'm going to copy this link, which all these links will be down below. Um, then go 
go back into LMG, going to change instead of weapon 13, it's going to be explosion.mp3. If I set that now, let me just make sure I've set everything. Now this is all good to go. So make sure you've got enable custom models clicked. It's make sure it's on LMG because by going off of it, it will sometimes be set to sniper, and so you know you might end up setting things for sniper when you're meant to be setting it for LMG. Um, conversely, uh, or like if you have a weapon like Uzi, for example, which is using all sniper stuff, if I went and changed all the sniper stuff to Uzi stuff, both sniper and Uzi would be invisible because they're trying to take from each other but that's technically the same as what they already are so they're trying to change to what they already are which doesn't work so it's a reset a weapon as well so um, uh, if I if I didn't like what a weapon looked like you don't change this to be the corresponding model just delete it so if you select it or delete it and then set it so anyway as I said LMG should be done now I'm gonna click restart on the client now as I said this only works with models now already in this folder structure here so not copying that link but copying and manipulating links I send down below um, to like change uh, the models and stuff like that so as we load now if we go into and it's going to be embarrassing it doesn't work into LMG you can see the LMG is now rocket launcher now this is something to look out for in the fact that this is the rocket launcher skin and everything like that but this doesn't change the AOs. I forgot what that stands for. But AO essentially means the shadows and other like glowing parts. So if you can see on the top, it's kind of hard to see. Um, there's a green dot. That's going to be from the red dot site from LMG. Uh, all these dark bits over it are from the LMG, like the underneath part. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. So like 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 where shadows are defined. So. If I start to fire now, you'll hear the explosion that sounds when you fire from a rocket launcher. So if I just be quiet for a sec and aim at this guy. So some might say that's a better sound. I'm actually going to keep it like that. Um, so that's a that's the way using k to change. Uh, that's, sorry, let me repeat myself. That is the way using KPAL's client that you change the way things sound and the way uh, and the way things look. Now you can, for example, you can add skins to this as well depending on what you've got. If I want to change the tiger, this will change the tiger because it's it's using the skin from uh, from uh, LMG and applying it to the uh, to the rocket launcher uh, to the rocket launcher body. So. Now for the second way of editing these things. It's a bit more complicated. So you may remember a video I did a while ago around um, changing the weapon models in main Kronka. That still works. So Kronka on client, you can see here I still have my sniper rifle. Uh, if this would not lag, here we go. I've still got my sniper rifle. I've, si I've silenced the uh, the thing at the moment. The only thing is, is that although you can follow my tutorial I set out on my previous videos on how to get custom models uh, in normal Kronka, um, you can't get custom skins or even any skins whatsoever um, like you can in the client at the moment. Um, they Techie did update the script for um, uh, the script for making resources swap but again that didn't help me personally in the fact that it didn't allow me to set custom or any skins at all so it might be different for you if you uh, techies one is really simple to use and I'll show you an example of how this is used so if I go into my downloads and I search for model swap which is down here which you can get from either my World War II models or my uh, Vietnam War models video. If you download and unzip the file and then drag this one here, which has all of the objects in it, drag this into your Chrome extensions. So yeah, my Chrome extension is just here. See, I've already got it in here. If you drag that in, then click the reload button, then go into Chrome Chrome Reload, that's when you'll get the custom models for weapons and things like that. So I'm hoping that they add the ability because I've got direct download links for things like this. 
I'm hoping they add the ability to download um, uh, download and use custom models like this and custom skins for these models um, on the KPAS client because at the moment you can only use the ones from you can only use the ones from uh, Kronka itself and although you can make some weird and wacky things with that it's still quite limited in the fact that it's only it's Kronka only uh, Kronka only models and skins so for example I've got my uh, my shotgun which I actually use the shotgun as I actually use my shotgun as my AR and when I fire with the shotgun, it makes the sound of the alien blaster. Uh, so, uh, I've also used a revolver as every secondary, because I quite like the revolver skin, but don't like the revolver. Now, as um, an example of how relationships change, we're going to tab, and you can see that if I look at my AR here, you can see that my AR is weapon 6 j which is which is the shotgun however if I for example change the model and skin to weapon 5 whatever that may be I don't know them off by heart if I change oh no sorry sorry if I keep this as weapon 6 sorry and I go into shotgun uh, if I go into let me just copy these across if I go into shotgun and change the model for shotgun to, to weapon 5 for example, I'll uncheck this in a sec, and then restart the client, then once it restarts, you'll see that, yeah, so it's changed to, the to step, is that, oh that's the revolver, you can see that now my assault rifle is revolver, so even though it's meant to be downloading the, um, even though it's meant to be downloading the model of the shotgun, because the shotgun itself has been changed to to revolver, it means that anything that's trying to change into shotgun is also changed into revolver. Um, so according to that um, that logic, that means that you can only like you if you've got like you should really just choose a few weapons that you're not going to change and change other things to it if you know what I mean. So like I'm not going to change sniper because my Uzi relies on sniper. Now let me just go into. Uh, um, shotgun, I removed this but that's the end of the video uh, if I set this back now, if I click set that will uh, that will change everything back to what it was before I was going to say normal but it's not really normal um, so that is how you change it in KPAL's client if you need any help with it don't feel free to like contact me on discord because most of you that are watching this are in the Oxic clan discord if you're if you're not then join the Oxic clan discord and contact me if you want any help with this um you can find that on like clan pages or on on kato hop side streams or, or and stuff like that uh, on this guy down here actually um anyway uh thanks for watching i hope this uh helps some of you guys in in the uh, like learning how to use the models and again if you need any help feel free to contact me so uh i'll see you in the next video then.